Welcome into the Deep Slant 101 presented by Xfinity. My guest this week, Wani Johnson, in his second year, first at safety. So, Wani, let's just start there because I feel like the big storyline for you all year is the fact that you have made the move to safety. How how has it been for you? How has this season played out for you? Um, you know, it, it's been better than I, I would say my rookie year. Um, safety is definitely uh, easier than playing corner uh, besides the communication part. Um, it's just being out there on the island, it, people really don't understand how tough it really is. And being out there on the back end, I mean, it's still it's still tough, but I feel like I'm more comfortable back there. I'm able to do more for this team. Well, you know, John Harris, he does our sideline reporting. He had said a long time ago that he really felt like you'd be a natural at safety. Is that something that you thought was coming in your future? Did you feel like you were eventually going to make the move at safety? Or or when were you first approached that that's sort of where things were headed for you? Um, I, I felt like that it was on the way. I was trying to dodge it for, for a minute, trying to see if I can at least get to my second contract <laughs> first before I get this move. But, um, I mean, whatever works for the team, you know, and, and they wanted me at safety. So, I, I mean, I'm not going to tell them no. I just went out there and just hey, embraced it. Well, you have because Romeo Cornell has said that you just seem to be getting better and better, whether you're playing at the line of scrimmage or whether you're playing deep that you really come a long way in playing safety and, and you've really shown a lot of improvement. So, you know, what had the whole transition been like? Is it pretty easy to go from cornerback to safety or do you think it would have been easier going the other way? Um, I would say not not anybody can do it, um, but I'm big on my craft and, and like I, I take note of anything I've done in the past that I didn't do right and I try to do it better the next time around. So. Um, anything that I didn't do right for my first season, my rookie season, um, I tried not to do that this year. And with, with me playing safety this year, um, any mistakes I made in early, I try not to make those same mistakes. So, uh, like I said, everybody can't do it because you got to uh, you gotta make sure you pay attention while you're in meetings and make sure you um, know pretty much every everything. So it was, it was just easy for me because I paid attention while I was at corner. I mean, a lot of people talk about that year one to year two jump that a lot of players make. And, you know, you were going from year one to year two in a really strange off season. It was COVID. There weren't OTAs. You didn't have a training camp. You know, did that make it harder to make the switch? Or at that point, did you still feel like you were going to stick with cornerback? Or or had you at that point started making that transition to safety in your mind? Um, I came in. Uh, I think like the first, the uh, since you said, like you said, we had no off season. Uh, so the coaches didn't really get to see like all the work that I had put in this offseason at corner. Um, and then once I came in and I was I was doing fine at corner, um, I think so. And I think the coaches seen that, too. But um, once they moved me to safety and they seen like the, the flashes, they know my aggressiveness. Uh, they just know that I'm one of them players like you really don't want to piss off. Uh, so, I mean, I, I don't know. I just feel like the coaches made the right move with it. Well, we certainly thought so after watching that Patriots game. I just that the play that stands out, obviously that that fourth and four with Cam Newton, you and and Justin Reed both coming out blitzing. I mean, is that one of your favorite play calls to get dialed up as a safety? I have to imagine that's a lot of fun to get to do that. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, that's my evil twin, man. So when 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 he calls that play, we look at each other like you already know it's go time. So it's like. Uh, we just go out there and, and we try, me and him competing with each other. You know, I always said that um, me and Justin Reed, we just going to come in, we're going to compete with each other. And when he make that call, you know, it's whoever get there first, man, get the set. You said evil twin. I was totally going to ask you about the evil twin because I see both of you posting about the evil twin. So both of you are evil. There's not like a good and an evil twin. <laughs> You're both evil, right? So <laughs> Where did that come from? Who started this evil twin stuff, and what does it what does it mean? Um, I think I think actually uh, a fan had said they couldn't tell me and Justin Reed apart on the field one day. I think we had <laughs> on the same glove, same cleat, both our dreads were sticking out our helmet, and it was like they couldn't tell us apart. So um, from that point on, I was like, man, forget it. Let's just call each other evil twins. <laughs> And go out here. We both got bad attentions when we hit people. We just both got like a lot of built up anger and we we put it out there on the field in a good way. And I mean, it's just, it just plays out that way, man. 
It seems like you two really get along off the field too. I mean, how much did you rely on him uh, just being in the league an extra year from you and, and then just in making that move to safety and, and getting to play back there with him? See, we, we help each other because like, um, like you said, he's been in the league a year longer than me, but I'm actually older than him. Oh, so you are? It's like, yeah. So it's like, hey, that's my little brother, but like he called me his little brother in, <laughs> in the league. So it's like, you know, it's a lot of back and forth with me and him with that. And I mean, like like you said, we real tight off the field and, and like he helps me with a lot of stuff as far as playbook wise. I tell him what I see and he tell me what he see. We just helping each other, man. Hopefully, like. The organization keep us together for a long time. I wouldn't mind. All right. So you're both evil twins and you're both little brothers. I like it. <laughs> All right. So you've had a lot of changes personally. You welcomed another baby girl this season. So first of all, congratulations on that. Thank you. I saw that you posted that with your first daughter being born. And I remember when you when your first daughter was born because we were still having training camp mm -hmm. and you were holding this little bitty baby at camp. So she had just been born. You had just joined with the Texans and now you're the dad of two you had posted that you didn't cry with the first but this time was different so what was what was different about this time having having um, a, a baby girl I mean, just just knowing that that I have two kids two girls at that um this one got part of my name uh she's she born in, she's born in November my birthday is in November so both Scorpio you know it, it was just, it's just so much emotions that came with my second child it was just like like I love my first one to death you know but I didn't know how I was going to react when the second one came and um just I just knew that I had to turn my game to a whole nother level because I have two girls and I want them to be proud of their dad in any way possible you know and I want them to just know that like their dad gonna be around for a long time in this league so I had to turn it up for them do you think being a dad has changed what sort of player you are or or how you are just in general? What kind of dad are you? Man, uh, so so like you said, like a dad has being a dad has changed me. Um, as you can see, my energy from the Patriots game probably was different from my whole first year, from this whole season. Like like it just came from I guess my daughters. Um, I, I know at this point, like I'm playing for them. And and I have to do whatever I got to do to make sure that the food stays on the table for them. So I'm going to get it. Well, you definitely look like you've hit your stride. You you had a big game against the Patriots. You also had uh, the five tackles, two quarterback hits alongside Evil Twin, who got his first sack. Mm -hmm. So what about for you for the rest of the season? I mean, what's what's in your future? What are some goals that you've set for yourself? Uh, I have a ton of goals, but um, honestly, I just I just love winning. You know, um, personally, I just love winning um, with this team, and I do whatever whatever it takes, you know, to go out there and get that win. Um, I'm just gonna have that type of energy for the rest of the season and for the rest of my career. Well, Lonnie, it's always a pleasure chatting with you, and wish you the best of luck. You and Evil Twin, we definitely want to see the twins stay together for a long time, especially the way y'all are playing these days. Definitely. Best definitely. of luck. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.